Hello, I'm Cynthia Harrison from Rhombus Healing Arts and I want to share with you a beautiful contemplation slash reading, <laughs> uh, a mystical musing and it's from the Sacred Vision Oracle. Uh, and often these readings resonate with many who stumble across uh, my site. So I wanted to share with you serenity. Divine light is serenity. So here is the image. There we go. So, in divine light, you overflow with love. You carry the sacred arrows that teach you about the clouds so full of water that the rain comes like droplets of wisdom into your sea of consciousness and you begin to learn. The sacred flute carries your prayers of love and all the sim symbols of treasured people and dreams reflect upon you with the light of the great sun. You are a sacred lover full of fragrance and the wind comes to spread your perfume across the land. You stand before the great spirit in a state of grace. Name your darkness. Name your darkness. That sad quality that you have held, that you hold. And as you call it by name, Feel it begin to disappear. You hold on to your faith the same way you hold a grip on your arrows of destiny. You're not meant to live in darkness, but in the light of your own integrity. Move with the flow of life and let go of any sadness from your earlier years. Be serene and at ease as the light begins to define you. <laughs> now that's clear. All the symbols. It's amazing, isn't it? It's like a stained glass window. The divine light. Okay, so what's the spirit of this? What's the spirit of this? Many religions symbolized in stained glass are illuminated qualities as the sun. See the stained glass window. The warrior prepares to plant prayer sticks laden with blessings but she knows the coming let me just get this straight for you <laughs> she knows she knows the coming sunlight will cast shadows she knows and is not afraid but thoughtful she knows that if there is a war in the world there is a war within each of us. Enlightenment is the expulsion of darkness. We use faith as a burning candle. Yet all light casts shadows. It is 
into these grey and black areas that we must traverse and truly become enlightened. Serenity, divine light. So I hope that gives you something to contemplate. What I call mystic musings. You can look at the image and contemplate it for yourself, what it means to you. But today, for me, is divine light and serenity. Contemplating the darkness <laughs> and what I've held on to. What have you held on to? What are you ready to let go of? Okay. I'll leave it at that. If you would like to know more or listen to other recordings, you can go to Rhombus Healing Arts Facebook page. There's many videos and teachings free. <laughs> I'll see you there. Bye.